lovely Pisces. I always like to do your videos when my hair is a bit mad. So I've just washed it. It's really, really humid and it's just starting to curl up at the ends. And I thought, what can I do? My hair's gonna go mad. It's gonna look like crystal tips by the end of it. It's all gonna be like this. Let's do a Pisces video. So here we are. What's coming in for you, Pisces? And I'm using the Light Sears Tarot because, that's for you, interesting. Um, I'm just feeling like that is a very Piscean tarot to use as well. Don't know why, but it feels. Let me know in the comments, what's your favourite tarot? Because obviously I'm a Pisces too. This is in my top <coughs> this is in my top five tarot decks. But I'm interested to know what yours are so I know if they're the same as my other four. Hang on, what was that? It felt like a card just dropped on the floor. Oh my god. So I'm just looking at my own skirt then to see if I dropped a card up there. Okay, we've got two overall energy cards. It's going to be one of those days. It's going to be one of those readings. Fetch yourself an appropriate beverage. First off, we're starting with the very stingy Four of Pentacles, Pisces. Four of Pentacles is sun in Capricorn, actually. And it's all about keeping your hands on your purse. Okay. Pisceans are not very good at this. Financially, and we'll be looking at finances, love life, and um, channeled messages as well. Career, life purpose, stuff in between. I tend to freestyle a bit more on Pisces as well because you're Pisces. I'm a Pisces, we freestyle. Four of Pentacles. Pisces has trouble with borders because we don't have any. We have trouble with um, boundaries and sometimes financially, sometimes financially it's a gift to Pisces. Money sort of flows in and money flows out. And a Pisces usually, if people on the outside are watching them, they're like, why are they not more worried about this? I'd love to know. Tell me how your money works. Obviously not literally, but the energy of it. Um, because I think Pisces feel energy the same. Love, money, the lot, the world. It's all energy, isn't it? Flowing in, flowing out. It's all like the sea. If you want to be making good money at the moment, Pisces, and this is not something I normally talk about with Pisceans, but, you know, we are looking at career as well as at love life. You need to connect with that part of you that understands the ocean, that understands the ebb and flow, that understands people, energy, and also the part of you that makes you Piscean, the part that makes you wonder. Pisceans wonder about things. You know what it's like? I bet your report card said you were a daydreamer when you were at school. I know mine did, very much did. And I spent the things I remember from school looking out of the art room window because you used to be able to see these fields and these birds and I just used to make up stuff and look out of the window. It's what we do. So can you somehow harness this gift that you have, Pisces, and get as much of it into your way that you earn money as possible. And I'm not even gonna say like job because a lot of Pisces have several jobs, have weird jobs, work from home, usual stuff, not particularly a boundary situation. Rare is the Pisces that can clock in and do nine to five. Some March Pisces I think can and do, but still they're gonna feel, they're gonna do it with such a lot of creativity. Okay, the second card you get, which is incredibly nice, is the Fool. Here we have the ocean represented with a kind of mandala thing over the top of it. That's clever and it reminds me of Spirograph. Do you remember Spirograph? See, I, I honestly, as a Pisces, I think Pisceans find technology difficult and I found Spirograph difficult. <laughs> That was the technology then. Can you do this? And I could never work out how to make any of the amazing mandalas that the kids on the adverts did. Anyway, the full launching, taking off a new direction, a new cycle. 
very nice energy actually the energy of something fresh something new fortune favors the brave let's go woohoo all of those things okay so you could be looking for a new career a new direction a new relationship either way you've got the full energy fortune favors the brave you've got this faith which is a very piscean thing what makes your heart thump what makes your blood do whatever it does circulate what makes what gives you the butterflies follow that follow your bliss joseph campbell okay i'm going to take a couple more cards for life purpose yep there's that one okay hang on Ooh, that one really wants to come out oh hello who are you okay i'm doing weird cards falling out type oh hello lovers just fell out right okay hmm. maybe that is the bridge okay let's look at the cards love the light series tarot We've got the Knight of Wands. This is the fire, fire energy, okay? And this has been happening in my readings for the last two or three months, is that the element of fire is sort of visiting different um, star signs. And usually it's the star signs that um, don't typically have the fire that are going to be affected which is very interesting. Then we have the Ten of Swords. I feel like you with the Fool as well. You're bringing a kind of what would be more of an Aries vibe, more of a Leo vibe, more of a Saggy vibe. You're gonna feel like taking more risks. You're gonna feel like fired up. Sorry, I'm back. You're gonna feel fired up. You may feel incendiary you may argue with people you might fight your cause all things piscians don't normally do piscians normally just think well it will even out you know or i'll say something if it gets bad but at the moment it's all right you may you may get into beef with people i don't think it's entirely a bad thing we also have the Ten of Swords and it feels like you're burning off. It feels like, you know, when the space shuttle goes up and it has that other bit that burns off. It feels like that, that you have that fire and that, grrr, you know, that you don't normally have. And it comes from the Ten of Swords. It comes from what Anais Nin, if you say her name like that, um, said it becomes too painful to stay the same so you walk in change instead then we have the king of swords and we have the lovers interesting i feel like a couple of things one i feel like in your career you may break the bonds of the structure you may not want to remain working in an environment that you're working in that might be a little bit too boundaried for you you may decide to work from home. You may decide to start your own business. You might just look into the energies of that, okay? For some of you as well, there is something to do with your love life going on here with the King of Swords and the Lovers, which we will explore further in the love, in the love section. But also the Lovers is the choice. You're gonna be making some choices. And they're difficult choices, but I think they're made a lot easier by the fact that you have this fire going on. And the fire is just making you uncharacteristically fast and furious and passionate, actually. I'm not saying Piscians aren't normally passionate, but it's normally... It's normally sort of 
refracted in some way. Think of a Pisces like this mermaid cloth here. So many different sequins. And also when the light hits it, so many different colors. Always a bit hidden. But it feels like the current energy for you is much more out there. Hanging it out there, putting it forward, saying your piece. So you may fall out with someone at work or you may whistle blow at work or you may do this with your family, with your friends, with someone who's been irritating you for a while and you haven't been able to say anything and suddenly you find your words. Okay. And the lovers is the choice. You're making choices in your life, you're making choices in your love life, you're making choices in your work life, but you're doing it very boldly and very unpiscianly. And I'm here for it. I love it. Right. Oh, yes. The bridge. We have the King of Swords and we have the King of Cups. Two very different characters. One is angular and often represents the air signs of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and one is softer and represents usually the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is someone who's emotionally in tune with you. This is someone who finds you very alluring. This is someone who loves your water sign ways but doesn't understand you. Okay. Well, Pisces, what a web we weave. Love me a bit of Piscean love life drama. Okay. Woohoo. Let's go. Five of, oops, let's zoom out a bit. And let's push him up, as the actress said to the bishop. Five of cups. That's interesting. Five of Cups is about what do you need to forget? What do you need to grieve? What do you need to get past? What are you trying to bury? And have you been successful with that? Oh, Five of Wands, all this discord. You are not prepared to keep the lid on this any longer. Whatever this complicated stew is, it's like, what's for tea tonight? It's complicated stew. You're not prepared to, what is that? Okay, fair enough. This card was like waving its backside at the bottom. So great, okay, cool. I love that. So, you're taking the lid off the pot of complicated stew. And you're showing everybody the recipe. And you are having, it's discord. When you get the five of ones, it's not huge. It's just like minor discord, not seeing eye to eye, not understanding each other, not quite getting something right, not quite meeting each other's eye is what I'm getting here but there's that fire at the top are these people who are learning to do fire breathing I don't know it's interesting Pisces metaphorically you're learning to breathe fire and then we get the six of wands I kind of would think of you as more of a dragon in that respect just because dragons are often in fantasy type things. Okay. Six of Wands, winner, winner, chicken dinner or vegan alternative. I love this for you. It feels like you can win, you can succeed and you will be triumphant. It's just what does winning look like? Judgment, We're getting all Piscean about it now. Judgment, any kind of retrograde energy is tied in with judgment. Going back to the future, feeling for the past and the world. Oh my God, they're consecutive. A 
okay i want this one god your cards are feeling really alive now judgment the world and the ace of pentacles very very nice indeed so you may revisit your old haunts your old psychological haunts you may even physically visit your old haunts like your school your hometown where your ex was or whatever it is I feel this is a bit of a pilgrimage energy actually you sound so bad self-help but you're coming back to you it's reminding me of that song at the beginning of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. And if you haven't seen that film, watch it because it's so Pisces and so full of glitter and sequins. And there's a song at the beginning. I've been to paradise, but I've never been to me. Oh, God. If you don't do anything else, just watch the first three minutes when, when they sing that song on the stage. It's so good. But I'm feeling that. I'm feeling country music vibe. You know, I've never been to me that whole kind of discovering yourself. And I know it's cheesy, but who cares? It's happening. And then the world, seeing the world in a whole new direction, feeling that you're on a new cycle, you're on a new path. There's something different building for you here. And I love this. It may, for some of you, eclipse somebody out. It's Ouroboros, the snake that eats itself. And somewhere along the line, snakes shed their skin. But we also have another cycle here, which is the Ace of Pentacles, which is very, very earthbound, very rooty, very practical, very growy. As Pisceans, you're almost calling on the other elements in your love life. You want things to be rooted, the earth, you want things to be communicated with the air. You want things to be passionate and true and purified with the fire. And you're already full of the water, but the water just brings this mysterious sort of relaunch of something. God, Pisces. In the extended reading, I'm going to do the extended love reading and we're going to look at... We're going to look at all of this because this is what came up in the love reading. Let me take a couple more cards. I'm going to do a reading. I'm going to take some cards for your person in the extended reading, actually. And I'm going to take how do they feel about you, but also very much might have to use Heart of the Fairy Oracle to get kind of in between the light and shade of the situation because I feel like it's very subtle. Look, we've got the three of swords in the background here. Oh, yeah, of course, we've got the moon. Pisces, you mysterious fish. Well, that's your job, isn't it? Oh, the seven of swords. Pisces, you are taking no prisoners. And I, for one, love it. Let's just zoom in on those three. If this really resonates, by the way, and you want that extended reading, it's the first link in the description box. If nothing else, this looks so Piscean. <laughs> it's like you've got the heart, the moon and the moon again. It's like, I don't know if all these three were balloons that you were letting go of somehow. The three of swords, you can see, expresses pain. It expresses what happened in the past, it links in with the Ten of Swords. You want it to be out. You don't, want to you don't want it to remain trapped inside any longer. You're not prepared to hold it back. You're not prepared to keep that lid on, Pisces. And then the Moon. A far subtler but very connected to judgment. A feeling of you returning to your mermaid, of you returning to your roots, of you being able to somehow delicately hold that balance of truth and feeling and intuition and revelation all at the same time. This is not straightforward, this reading, okay? The extended won't be either. But your relationship, your love life isn't straightforward either. Is it ever, Pisces? I ask myself. Seven of Swords here. 
some kind of something going on in the dark, in the past, by the moon, can't quite tell. Again, you are the most intuitive sign and you know there is something to be revealed and something to be discovered. And I would say that a lot will happen for you around the full moon. Any cycle where you're coming up to a full moon. It's very Piscean. We have a full moon eclipse in Pisces on the 18th, I think it is, of September. And I'm getting a bit of a witchy feeling about that as well. Pisces. Gosh. Okay, I'm going to go and do your extended where we're going to look at the love reading. We're going to look at these three. We're going to look at the ones at the bottom. We have our work cut out for us already. I'm going to get another beverage. If you want this, it's the first link in the description box. Leave me a comment. I'll see you on the other side, fishies. Namaste.